Ducks Don't Get Wet by Augusta Golden. Hot ducks don't get wet. Well, that's the thing about ducks. We're going to learn something new. Ducks don't get wet. Ducks are water birds. All day long they go in and out of the water, in and out, in and out. No matter how many times they go into the water, ducks don't get wet. Ducks are waterproof. Did you know that? Every but duck... Get wet. No, they don't. Listen. They sort of do, but listen. Every duck is waterproof because it has an oil gland near its tail. With, broad, with its broad bill, the duck strokes this oil gland, and then it smears the oil over its feathered. This feathers. Now ducks don't quack. They do quack. When the duck smears this oil o um, over their feathers, it's called preening. Ducks spend hours preening themselves. That is how they keep their feathers covered with oil. Their feathers do not get wet because oil and water do not mix. Water rolls right off the oily feathers. Ducks spend most of their time in the water. They splash round in puddles and ponds and swamps and shallow streams. You can see ducks tipping their heads under the water and tipping their tails up in the air. When ducks dabble in the water this way, they are searching for food. Their webbed feet paddle fast as they tug water weeds with their broad bills. Pintailed ducks and mallards search through the water for pond grass and wild rice for seeds and insects. Blue winged teal tip for wild rice, insects, and snails. Shoveler ducks waddle in and out of the water. They shovel up mud and strain it for seeds and tiny water plants. They scoop up water and strain it for insects and shrimp. Wood ducks look for water plants and they eat wild rice, water lily seeds, acorns, and insects. Other ducks are expert divers. Some ducks can dive down 100 feet. This is a, as deep as a 10-story building is high. They can swim underwater for 300 feet, the length of a city block, and when they come up for air, they are dry. Canvas backs and scapas um, dive for shellfish and water plants such as wild celery. Harlequin ducks dive for insects and fish, so do the buffleheads. Mergansers dive for fish with its saw-edged bill, and a merganser can catch and hold onto a slippery salmon or trout. Ducks usually find their food in water or along the, duck, the shores of lakes and ponds. When the weather gets cold, the rivers and marshes, ponds and lakes are covered with ice. When the water freezes, crabs and crayfish, duckweeds and pondweeds and all the fish are beneath the ice. Ducks cannot reach this good food. Then the ducks leave for the south. They fly southward to open water where they can find food. Southward fly the dabbling ducks and the diving ducks. Southward fly the ducks at 30 to 70 miles an hour, depending on the wind and as fast as a car. Southward to open water and good duck food fly the ducks. They may fly through sunshine or storm clouds. They may fly in strong winds and light showers, and the raindrops will roll right off their backs. If they fly over your house, you may be sure you will see them again next fall. Ducks travel the same route or flyway year after year. Sometimes they fly in a V formation. The leader flies at the point of the V, and the other ducks fan out behind. When the ducks fly low, you may be able to see them clearly. You may be able to hear the hiss and whistle of the wind as it slips off their oiled feathers. You may be able to hear the thumping of their wings, but when the ducks fly very high, you will not be able to hear them or to see a single duck clearly. You will know that the ducks are passing overhead only when you see a V in the sky that looks like a faint wisp of smoke. 
you will know the ducks are flying southward for the winter. When spring comes, the ducks will return. They will fly north to dabble and dive in the rivers and lakes and the ponds and marshes. They will fly back to open water and good duck food. They will fly back north through strong winds and spring rains and they will fly and they will always be dry because ducks don't get wet. No, ducks don't get wet. Do you remember why they don't get wet? Well, if we go back to the front part of the book, you see right here, mm -hmm. every duck is waterproof because it has an oil gland near its tail. With its broad bill, the duck strokes this oil gland. That's like my goggles are waterproof and they don't even break when they're in the water, right? Well, yes, your, your, um, your goggles make it so that when you wear them, you your eyes are protected from the water and, and my nose and they have a nose thing it has a nose thing so i won't soak up the water yes that that's right it makes it so your face is protected from the water so that's a good comparison yeah so this um this duck will use its bill to stroke its oil gland and then it smears the oil over its feathers it, this is called preening. So this is how the duck makes its feathers waterproof. Just like your glasses kind of protect your eyes and your nose, your, your goggles, I'm sorry, protect your eyes and your nose from um, getting, going from going underwater. It's a little different, but it's in the same as far as protecting yourself from water. This is how the duck protects itself from water. Pretty neat, huh?